Welcome to Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 15th of August, 2024. Key topics for today, Jenkins releases, spring security upgrade, Chinese documentation, and preparing for Hacktoberfest. So on the Jenkins releases side, last week we had a, a crucial set of releases for Jenkins Core. 2.471 weekly, 2.462.1 LTS, and 2.452.4 LTS. Uh, that release sequence hints that there was a security fix. And there are also some improvements to user experience and to other general performance. So nice, nice improvements and the security fix. If you haven't installed that, that's the one to install. On Spring Security, the spring project so spring is the security spring security is the security framework used by the jenkins project and we've been running on spring security 5.x for many years now they've announced that as of 31st of august 2024 uh, spring security 5.x is end of life and so the jenkins project is working through the process of upgrading to spring security 6 now, so upgrading to Spring Security 6 means we have to upgrade a bunch of components. We have to upgrade to require Java 17. It doesn't run with Java 11. We have to upgrade to use Jetty 12. And in order to do Spring 6, we've got to use Jetty 12 with e Java EE9, Jakarta EE9. Uh, that's an awful lot of change to make. And we've set our goal to make progress on that, hoping to reach done by the 30th of October, 2024, long-term support release. Right now we're three phases in and we've completed three phases. The fourth phase is in progress, Jetty 12 with EE9. Uh, special thanks to Basil Crow, to uh, Adrien Le Charpentier, to Olivier Lamy, to many others who've been working to assure that this thing retains compatibility and is able to be used. This most recent weekly release is looking good. We'd love to have people test. Next topic was Chinese documentation. And in addition to the standard Jenkins documentation site, there is an extra Jenkins site that is not managed by the Jenkins project. This is another site where Chinese users can find information about Jenkins. Uh, it is similarly out of date compared to the Jenkins Chinese documentation. So we leave it as is. We will eventually retire the Jenkins Chinese site and point people by redirection to the English site. Preparing for Hacktoberfest, we've got two or three good ideas. One on simplifying plugin maintenance, another one on promoting once again, content security policy fixes. It's a good place for someone who's not experienced with other things, but can work in Java, JavaScript. Content security policy also helps improve the uh, overall security of the Jenkins project. And that's it for today's Docs Office Hours. Thanks, everybody.